So Gary, um, in my workshops, in my talks, I get a lot of my clients come up and say to me, networking is great, but I've got everything else to do. I've got deadlines, I've got targets, yeah. and I haven't got the energy just to go out and network as well and maintain relationships. So you talk about helping people cope with pressure situations. What yeah. would you say to them? It's, it's, a, it's a very common thing. I mean, every single person in business is battling to get through their email. I get more emails now than ever before, more text messages, yeah. more social media, I understand the need and the importance of networking, and these, these things all take up time. And interestingly enough, the Harvard Business School last year put out a whole magazine dedicated to these extra pressures that people seem to be under these days. And they had a simple solution. I thought they might have a really complicated yeah. one, but it was very simple. They said, as you mentioned, you've got to raise your energy levels, and there's two main ways to do that. One is exercise. Yeah. Exercise regularly. If you haven't got time to get to a gym, just run on a little running machine at home or a skipping rope. Obviously, take medical advice before you do that. And then what you eat. Yeah. And I find that a lot of businesses, there's a coffee machine nearby, and there's cakes, and stuff that you know is not good for you. But when it's around, you're going to take it. Put that stuff way down the corridor somewhere yeah. and surround yourself with the healthy food, the nuts and the dried fruit and whatever else that you you know it's been recommended that you eat yeah. um, and that way you keep your energy up so that you can do these extra things because if you don't network if you don't plan for the future if you those are the things that tend to get lost in the busyness of the day yeah. they're going to come back and bite you big time okay so it, that's all understandable but when you were playing at the top of English football you were playing for Manchester United in England I'm assuming your exercise regime was yeah. pretty strong. Yeah. I'm assuming even though times were different, nutrition was pretty mm -hmm. good. Even then there must have been times where you felt your energy slump a bit, you thought, oh, I can't face this game mm -hmm. tomorrow, or, or you know, you struggle to motivate yourself. So mm -hmm. how do you deal with that? Well, there's other techniques that I think are very, very powerful for dealing with pressure. One of the obvious ones is gratitude. Um, whenever you think you, yours is a tough life, look around and see what other people don't have. I used to go to a children's home nearly every week uh, okay. for, the, for terminally ill kids. Okay. And trust me, no matter how, how often the crowd was screaming at me and the papers are writing bad things, when you walk in and see kids who've only got a few weeks left, it just breaks your heart and you realize that your, your issues aren't that, that yeah. big. So gratitude is a very powerful one. Reframing, so Alex Ferguson was always brilliant at that. Um, taking situations where you weren't playing well and the team wasn't getting results, yeah. but he'd, he'd make the next game exciting. It's oh, okay. if we beat them and this yeah. happens. And so, in a business sense, even if things aren't going well, you can you can find an angle to yeah. make it exciting for you because it's, it's, you know as long as it's exciting, you're going to get the best out of it. Yeah. If you see it as oh, you know this is this is a mountain to climb, then you somehow you know physiologically you don't get the best out of yourself. Yeah. Um, and then observation, you know, just observing people around you where they need help because. Now, you help someone yeah. around you, trust me, when you're in trouble, they'll help you. It's going to come and, back. And that, that, that works. That gets you through those difficult yeah. times. And, and, and picking up on the middle thing you said about the reframing, I think that when you're struggling to find the time to network, I guess if you're Alex Ferguson, you say, okay, but what's that going to bring to you in the future? You know, you're saying, think two or three matches ahead. Mm. Think, you know, why am I doing it? What's the result yeah. going to be over time? And it makes it easier. It certainly does, yeah. yeah. As you say, if you, if you can see the bigger picture, you can see the benefits of yeah. what it's going to bring you, you will find the time to do it. And that's uh, and it's crucial to keep that positive vibe going yeah. all the time, no matter how tough it is. And, and, and you will get there. You will find things yeah. will improve. And, you know, soccer is a very, very good example of that because you can come under some, some incredible pressure yeah. there. And those techniques get you through. And it's, it's probably one of the reasons why Sir Alex Ferguson has been so incredibly successful. He just loves the pressure. He just bring it on because he's constantly seeing the bigger picture and the yeah. next level up and the, the next level of success and it inspires him. So as you say, yeah. you know, if, if, um, if folk are watching this, if they, can, if they can picture where they're going to and what they can achieve by using uh, networking, social media, whatever it is, then it's going it's to excite them enough yeah. for them to do it well. Fantastic. Thanks, Gary.